up everyone this is Amy from TCO77 and today we are good and we are going to be comparing team one recovery project versus or and clockwork mod recovery so we're going to be using two phones of course that we're going to be using the HTC one S for the team win and well for the clockwork mod and the Nexus 4 for the for the team win all right so they both both phones are off so let's go ahead and boot this one up to the fast boot mode, then we're gonna go ahead to recovery mode, alright? So here it is. So it's, it's gonna go like that. So and let's boot this one up. So when you boot this one up, it's just going to show you that, and then while in this one, it's going to show you a logo that says Team Win. Well, that's not a big of a deal, but just saying. So the menus, the first thing you see, the first impression, everything, like the very first thing you see in front of your face when you when they boot up is here. You get a list, and here you get tiles, alright. So no difference, no baggie, they both touch. We have um a normal one, but then I flash um the touch one of course, because it's because it's better. So back then when people used to see you just you know like messing around with, the, with your recovery mod, it used to look a little bit more like dangerous because it had no touch mod or anything. But right now it just looks normal. Now it's just normal for it, normal for anything. You know, most of the people won't use it now. So in Team Wins Recovery Project, you gotta get, get those at the bottom. Well, because it's a Nexus, but you realize, like, let's say you see, you put install it from a Z card, you can still use those, you know. So you don't really need um. So you don't really. So the only reason it got the soft touch buttons is because um you got the Nexus Four doesn't have um capacitive buttons, and that's really neat, right? Though you see, it got a lock screen. Which I, which is I kind of really like like let, let's say I um I had to go and then I just left my phone in recovery mode here it's gonna be it's gonna stay on it will never go off while right here it will just go off and then when I wanna use it it's, it's gonna go back on so in the middle they have something right here which I never used before but that's I think that's the menu and right here uh, um again they don't have soft buttons because you got these at the bottom. So different looks. So at the at the top it says Clockwork Mod Recovery, and that's it right here. I'm not being biased again, anyway. So I, I like Clockwork Mod more. So, but you know, just saying. And right here you got uh, it says the time and how much battery you got left. So that's neat, right there. So let's go ahead and go deep into the settings. I really wanted to show you the lock screen, but it just won't lock whatever so here's the lock screen just swipe it so when you wanna um, go ahead first here you got install and then wipe and everything here you got reboot the first one is says reboot system now so when you go to install zip from SD card here comes the confusion here when you choose zip from a Z card it's gonna take you directly to your SD card here first um, like it will take you directly to your SD card but first when you first flash it it's gonna take you up here and then what you try to do is, oh, I'm going to go to my SD card. You click here, and then it goes here. But first, what the very first thing that happened is that it doesn't take you directly to your SD card. First thing, I, I had to go to the, um, what was it again? To that EMMC, EMMC. But then after I updated AOKP, the EMM, EMMC thing just went away because I, I don't really see it no more around here. So... Yeah, so uh, first there was a confusion probably because of the custom ROM, but right now they fixed it and then it's all right here and right here it takes your SD card too of course and which is neater well for me the more one that looks cooler is here because like you know the holo theme they call it holo I guess like the black and blue and right here you go like white and gray this one looks kind of cooler so you could go back by clicking this button right here or clicking this button you know and right here you click back by going here 
And something another need another thing that's neat in here is that you could sort stuff right. So you could go home. So it takes you all the way back, alright. So what else we got? So wipe data factory reset. Let's say you wanna wipe data. It says here yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. While well, right here when you wanna wipe data, you just select wipe and then it shows you everything that if if you wanna wipe anything. And let's say I wanna wipe data factory reset. Uh, it's kind of like uh, I like it a little bit more because like you gotta swipe and everything. I don't know for some reason like I, I like both of them, but the neater the better, you know. So it gives you more options when you want to wipe stuff. So here uh, they got wipe data and then wipe cache and some and, and another part and then you go to advanced and then here wipe delve cache and battery stats. While well, right here they got it all in one. So uh, what else I wanna say? I wanna compare. So um, let's say backup and restore. Backup and restore are in one here. So you got backup, restore, and advanced restore. While you click it right here, you got backup. So if you want to backup, and then restore, and then it, they don't really have a advanced restore. I'm not about to restore my phone because I, I I never really I never really tried it. Like I I did, but I don't want to go back to build six of your KP. So, um, mount and storage, so you click here, and then you gotta, you, you get the options to mount anything, and then right here too, you get mount system, and mount SD card, here you get, oh, here, unmount cache and unmount SD card, you get mount data, mount cache, mount data, SD card system, and then you get to, uh, you get the options to format cache, format data, SD card system, and then you could mount, uh, USB storage. So when you go here, you go to advanced, you get, if you want to report errors, it's kind of like the settings and then the key test and then the uh, per fixed permissions and everything. While wow, right here, when you go to advanced, shows you kind of the uh, same thing, except that this one got a file manager. I don't think this one got a file manager. And it got themes right here and everything. And then here, um, I think they got, um, to, if you want to, they, they don't really have that. Maybe because this is kind of like an old version. I don't know what I did. Oh, I, did, I powered off. I powered it off. Maybe this is kind of like the old version of this one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Come on. Yeah, it's got to power back on. So something they have here that they do not have here is settings. Uh, let's just give it a while. So in settings, what you get, you get this, which is, like, if you want to uh, just change some settings, that's it. And you get screen, you get, like, sync screen, and then uh, screen timeout and everything, and then you go, you go back, and then time zone, if you want to change your time zone, and you get the these settings right here, which is not available right here. So, thanks for watching everyone, have a great day night whenever you're watching us, and you choose. If you want to download this, you gotta go to ROM Manager and then download it. Just install ROM Manager on your phone, then flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. And let me tell you that the touch one costs money sometimes, unless you want to flash it manually from your computer or somewhere else. But if you want to, the official one, yeah, like they all official, but if you want to keep with the latest version, you gotta... If you want like auto updates, you gotta pay money for them. But well, right here, you already get the touch. You don't really need to pay money. So I don't really know which is needed. Um, I like the features in this one. While well, I like the theme of this one, I know you could um, you could reload themes uh, in here, but still, I don't know. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, night, whenever and wherever you're watching us. Why am I even seeing us? It's just me for right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get some people in this summer. So thanks for watching and bye bye. Subscribe for more of course for more stuff, for more comparisons. And bye bye.